Today, we are sharing the story of a baby who came to us in critical condition, struggling between life and death with a large caput hematoma, a swelling on the head that tells the story of a difficult birth. This is not just a medical case. It's a story of courage, care, and hope. Was a busy morning in the neonatal intensive care unit when the emergency team rushed in. A newborn baby had just been delivered, weak, pale, and struggling to breathe. The baby's heart rate was low, and the oxygen levels were dropping fast. As the team quickly started resuscitation, one thing became immediately noticeable. A large swelling on the baby's head. The swelling was soft, boggy, and spread over the scalp, crossing the midline. This was caput succedaneum, also called caput hematoma, often caused by pressure during a difficult delivery. But the baby's condition was more than just a swelling. He was cold, weak, and barely crying. Every second mattered. The neonatal team acted immediately. The baby was placed under a radiant warmer to maintain body temperature. Oxygen support was started to help him breathe. Intravenous access was secured to start life-saving fluids and medications. The doctors carefully monitored the baby's heart rate, oxygen saturation, and temperature. Slowly, the baby started showing small signs of improvement. A faint cry, a tiny movement, a flicker of life returning. The swelling on the head was still prominent, soft to touch, and extending across the scalp. But now, the priority was clear. Stabilize the baby. Save the baby's life. Let's understand what this condition really means. Caput succedaneum, or caput hematoma, is a type of swelling that appears on a newborn's head after delivery. It usually develops due to pressure from the birth canal or prolonged labor. During childbirth, especially when the baby's head is pressed tightly against the cervix or birth canal walls, small blood vessels rupture. This leads to accumulation of fluid or blood beneath the scalp, forming a soft swelling. It is usually not inside the skull, but on top of it between the scalp and skull bone. Most of the time, it's harmless and resolves on its own in a few days. However, in some critical cases like this one, the swelling can be very large and may lead to blood loss, jaundice, or shock. That's why such babies require close monitoring and expert medical care. In the next few hours, the medical team continued their efforts. The baby's breathing slowly became more stable with oxygen support. His body started warming up under the heater. The doctors checked blood glucose, hemoglobin, and other vitals to rule out complications. But the swelling on the head remained large, and parents were deeply worried. The baby's mother, still weak after a difficult labor, kept asking, Doctor, will my baby be okay? Her eyes were full of tears, fear, and hope, all at once. The medical team comforted her, assuring that they were doing everything possible. The father stood silently beside her, holding her hand, praying that his newborn would survive. Every breath the baby took was precious. Every heartbeat was a victory. Over the next 24 hours, the baby remained in the neonatal intensive care unit under continuous observation. The swelling was measured, and the head circumference was monitored to check for any increase. The baby was kept on oxygen and four fluids. Gradually, his color started improving from pale to pink. His cry became stronger. He started moving his hands and feet. It was a sign that life was fighting back. The doctors explained to the family that caput hematoma usually resolves slowly, sometimes in days, sometimes in weeks. The main goal was to ensure that no internal bleeding, infection, or neurological problem developed. It's important for every parent to understand. Head swelling after birth doesn't always mean brain damage. Caput succedaneum is a common condition, especially after a prolonged or difficult vaginal delivery or when vacuum or forceps are used. The key is timely medical attention and proper observation. Parents should look out for signs like uh, the swelling increasing rapidly, a baby becoming unusually sleepy or irritable, poor feeding, yellowing of the skin or eyes, jaundice, or any abnormal breathing or movements. If any of these appear, the baby should be immediately brought to a doctor or neonatal center. With proper care and love, 
Most babies with caput hematoma recover completely and live a normal, healthy life. Especially the life of a newborn is one of the most emotional and rewarding experiences in medicine. It reminds us that behind every monitor, every four line, every heartbeat, there is hope. Each newborn deserves a chance at life. Sometimes, a simple swelling may hide a serious problem. Sometimes, a baby's cry can be the sound of a miracle. If you are a parent, always remember, early medical care can make all the difference. Never ignore any unusual sign in your newborn. And if you are a healthcare worker, continue to give your heart and soul to these little fighters, because every baby deserves to live, to smile, and to grow. Thank you for watching this story. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more real medical stories and educational videos. Together, we can spread awareness, save lives, and give hope to families around the world.